We got rain and snow all last night in the tent. There's Allie the mountain dog patiently waiting for me to let her out so she can go adventuring. Good girl. Anyways, it just dawned on me here in the tent as we're getting our operations going, the hot chocolate going, maybe some chow, that I left my Spyderco 4 full flat ground on the snow all last night. This is going to be a good data point to see if it rusted. No joke. So let's check it out. It's wearing the zip tie mod that my buddy Crockett 20 turned me on to. I'm going to try that, see if I like it. So far the answer is yes. Okay, in tabletop, I've talked to you guys about this steel, VG10 that Spyderco uses, how it's one of my favorite steels. You're going to see firsthand as to why. And this is not set up. It's no joke. This is a real snapshot in time of backcountry testing. Let me open this very wet rain fly and show you what we have outside the tent here. Huh. There we are. There's Crockett's tent right there. We'll talk to him in just a second. And the rain continues to fall. It let up just for a second. We're at about 9,000 feet elevation here. Beautiful rainfall in the distance. But dudes, we got rain and, and snow all last night. Okay, so back to the Delica. Let's see if there's any rust. Looking at it. Let me wipe the blade down. Hang on a second. With my blue shop towel I also brought. So we can get a better look. So humid here, it's like fogging everything up. I don't see any rust on it, dudes. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. Now when I turn it to this side right here, little bit of discoloration on that relief edge. See it right there? Maybe the beginnings of rust. But given, given that it sat there all, all night, I think that's uh, passing with flying colors in my book. Hey, Crockett, yeah. do you have a blade with you? That's right, you took your Tenacious. Yes, I did. How's that doing? Do you have any uh, spots or anything on it? I do. They're, they're very small, but I do have small rust spots on it. Something I definitely want to take care of when we get back. Cool. All right, I don't know if you guys heard that. Crockett's saying that his Tenacious, and that, if I'm not mistaken, is 8CR 13 MOV steel, is rusting. There's rust spots on it. Um, so there's another data point for you. I still like the HCR 13 MOV steel. I think it's a good high value steel. If I can get it though, I will take VG10 any day over it. Again, we're talking different price levels here though. You guys understand that. This is a more expensive blade. The steel's more expensive. Pretty much you're going to get what you pay for. Uh, so there you have it. This is a real world snapshot that's showing you how I get my data for my tabletops. And this is not the only trip I've done with VG10. I've done dozens, well maybe not dozens, but lots uh, with the steel. And it's always done what you've seen here and pass with flying colors. Keeps an edge very well. It has that really fine edge characteristic to it. Extremely sharp, easy to sharpen in the field. And as you're seeing here, real world, pretty much rust resistant and tough conditions. There's a quick in-field review on VG10 Steel, Spyderco variety, from me, Nothing Fancy. And Allie the Mountain Dog. And Crockett 20. Say goodbye, Crockett. See you guys later. Peace out.